Go you bloody legends. I'm always telling you guys that here on this channel we take photos of the stars on small sensor cameras. So tonight I'm doing something that I've never done before and you're coming with me. Tonight I'm taking photos of the stars with this. Let's get into it. So the drone we're using is a Mavic Air 2. I've had it for a couple of years. Actually, or well, maybe a year. I bought it when I started this channel. And uh, I've never tried this before. It's got a small sensor. Here are the specs of it. Um, I'm not going to be taking any uh, uh, photos of the stars with my phone because it's on the controller. It's very dark. It's telling me it's very dark. So we'll just see what we get. All right, let's take it off. We'll, we'll just see what happens. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Ooh. Even the pilot light comes on automatically. I've never flown this at night time. And in fact, I haven't flown it for a little while. So we might crash into anything here. We'll see what happens. Let's go up. And so far, I can see nothing. How high are we now? So now I'm up to about 75, 77, might even go higher. Let's go up to 85 meters. And I can see on the ground there a few lights from town. Now, I'm just using manual controls on this. So if I go down the bottom here, I'm gonna shoot raw as well. And, and we'll go into the manual mode on the camera. The shutter speed, we're gonna take that up to the maximum that we can. It's on a drone, it's up there moving around a little bit. Uh, we'll go to, eight seconds is as most as most that we have so ISO we're gonna punch it up as well it's gonna be noisy as all buggery but we'll see I want to get that sort of baseline in and uh, see what we can capture so I'll hit the shutter button there with one and we'll go when it's finished it's still going because it's an eight second photo so this this particular drone has three modes it has a uh, sport mode, a normal mode, and a tripod mode. And the tripod mode is going to keep it as steady as it can without moving anywhere. I'll hit the play button. Uh, I don't actually know what else is on here. There we go. <laughs> oh, that worked. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> oh, shit. That's awesome. Um... <laughs> That's grainy as all buggery, but I actually didn't know that was going to work. Because I, I was thinking uh, with the drone, um, with the, the gimbal on it, it's going to go up and down, like, like it doesn't actually point up. So I had a feel I was going to have to go pretty high to get this. I'm just going to go back and back again. And let's go up to 100 metres and see what we get. There we go, 100 metres tie. You can see the red dots up there from the drone. I might turn it just that way a little bit because I know that the, the tail of the core is coming up pretty much directly over here. So I'll turn it just a little bit and I'll take another photo, another eight second photo. <laughs> this is so much better than I thought it was going to be. You got, you got the horizon on that last photo and you got the stars there. There's probably going to be a lot of noise, but we'll bring it back down in a second and we'll, we'll see what we can find. <clears throat> now I think that's taken the photo. I was going to play that. Have a look. That is so bloody cool. I didn't think we were going to get that. So the lights that are out there on the horizon is, is like the town. Um, some neighbours' farms who are starting to get their cows and stuff in. So this is possibly annoying the cows. I don't think so though. It's far enough away. Might just um, point that gimbal down. And uh, we shall see if we can see me. There we go. That's me. Walking around. That's, that's actually really cool. Uh, we'll take a photo of that as well. We'll see what happens. But uh, I think um, with the core coming up over there, I'm going to do like a bit of a sweeping panorama. It might stitch together. It might not. Might be a total waste of time. But um, eight seconds, 6,400. I'll do a couple of little things here. I'll probably... Uh, uh, drop the ISO for a couple of shots so we're not dealing too much with that sort of thing. Um, so I'll come back in just a second and I'll show you what we got. I'm blown away that actually worked. What I'm doing right now, I've got it set up in exactly the same spot, pointing over towards the tail of that uh, the galactic core. And what I'm doing is 
I'm taking a series of photos here and I'm gonna actually bring them down, put them on the computer and stack them uh, like in this video up here. I've got a feeling it might do a bloody good job. It might not so. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, I didn't think this would work. There you go, small sets of photography right here. Hey, if you guys want to actually uh, win a phone, I'm about to give away a phone on this channel when we hit 50,000. Well, it's actually gonna be on the 18th of December in a live session. So make sure you subscribe. You've gotta be in that live session to win it. And I'll see you guys then. There is something else that this drone does and it does a 48 megapixel photo. Basically, it takes a few photos and it stacks them on top of each other. So I'm gonna try that as well. I'm just gonna take it back up to a uh, 100 meters which is where it was before. I think I'm going to get the best sort of results the higher we go. With eight seconds, 3200 ISO, 48 megapixel photo. We'll take that one too and we'll see what happens. I've just seen my neighbor is starting to get his cows in. So there's a bit of light happening over there now. And that might add a little bit more to the photo. Turns out that's actually not my neighbor getting his cows in. It's a car coming down the road and I'm standing in the middle of the bloody road. So I might try and get a photo of some light trails of this coming past. We'll see what happens. I'll get covered in bloody dust now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I never see a car this type of day on our road. Well, there we, now I have. Let's just go and have a look and see what happened with that. Oh, that worked really well. <laughs> that's actually really cool. Have a look. Yeah, that's that's the. There's a lot of light on that car. It was just a Ute or a, or a truck, as you Americans like to call them. But um, it, he had spotlights and light bars and stuff all over that, so it was like daylight coming through. Could have put a cup of coffee on my bonnet it would have cooked it for us well that was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be let's put these into Lightroom I'll show you a few things that I found once I got them onto a bigger screen and could see them a bit better anyway let's have a look so here are the first photos and it wasn't windy down on the ground where I was but it was certainly a bit breezy up the top there and this first photo here is pretty indicative of that if we zoom in there you can see uh, well, the light trails, the star trails from uh, the stars moving or the drone moving. So this one here, this photo is no good. We can't use that one at all. We'll keep going through here. The stars here are nice and sharp. Pretty well on the money. I'm happy with that. We'll keep going through here. And let's have a look at this one. These are all raw files, by the way. This is another one at 3200 versus this one over here at 6400. You can see the difference in the uh, um, <clears throat> in the digital noise. So we'll go over to this last one. This last one here is a uh, 45, uh, uh, 48 megapixel photo, and it was the most light that we had there so far, but it was just a bit too bloody blurry. So. All these photos, it was a little bit of potluck just depending on what was happening with the light. If we go back to this one here, this is probably the best photo out of all of them. The stars are pretty well pin sharp. There's a bit of noise and uh, we'll quickly do some more editing on this. I'm just gonna increase the luminance a little bit more with the noise. I've already uh, increased the, app, uh, the uh, exposure. I've decreased the blacks, increased the whites a little. What's that gonna do? Gonna bring out too much. I'm going to increase the blacks and see what happens. It doesn't look too bad. We're not going to do any masking or anything like that. Turns out where I thought this thing was facing wasn't quite where, where I want it to be. This is almost pointing directly south and I can tell that through the, if you look at the base there, the direction that I thought I was heading in, I wasn't. <laughs> that line is actually my road. That, and I know that's heading dead south. So over to the left of the photo is where that tail of the Milky Way would have been. So I'll bring that back. I think realistically, um, to do this sort of thing with a drone, it's going, it's, well, it can do it. It's not going to get nearly as good as what it does with a camera or a phone, but to be able to get a different perspective, this has kind of given me a few ideas. And I think we'll be doing this a bit better uh, in the future with some better subjects like Mount Hope, taller trees and things like that. Maybe some rivers, even at moonlight, under moonlight, I think this could be a bloody good idea. So stick around, subscribe to the channel because I'm definitely going to be doing this again. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll catch you later.